Hi everyone, my name's Tom. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to set up Pro Controller and a Sony DualSense controller in Steam. Uh, there are a few quirks here that might trip you up, and I just wanted to cover all the bases that have, basically I've run into and hopefully get you gaming ASAP. So if you, this video helps you, please leave a like, and with that note, let's get going. So uh, basically in Steam, there's the top left here, uh, you want to go to settings. Now, Steam recommends with controllers you use big picture mode. I personally don't like big picture mode. It's just a bit confusing and makes too much noise, so we don't like that. But if you like the Xbox and a bit more of a console experience, big picture mode is actually pretty nice. I can see why people would do it. But anyway, we're going to general con controller settings, and it will pop up with this window here. Now, I've actually already got my Pro Controller connected. Uh, I can show you briefly how we do that. I use the Bluetooth. You could use a wire. Uh, the Bluetooth settings, I said, go in a bit more detail in another video. I'll link in the description. I'll talk about the gyro controls and I compare these controllers in a lot more detail than what I'll do in this video. This is just to show you how to set these up and get gaming. Uh, and so what Steam has here, it's, it will all be turned off from default because I have to do this if I reinstall Steam on another computer or something, for example, as well. Uh, so turn off Big Picture Exit. I just don't bother with any of these. But I have PlayStation configuration, Xbox configuration, Switch Pro Controller configuration uh, using the Nintendo button layout as well because I like that, and generic gamepad configuration support. And that kind of covers that, basically all the basis there or whatever's in between. Uh, and so by ticking all these boxes, you will enable Steam to be recognized these as controllers to use. And by going them back out, you can actually go into more, you can basically go into more calibration controls and identifying and changing your dead zones and things in there. But again, not going to cover that. We'll back out of that. And now one thing Steam has as well, if you want to say edit controls for a specific game, you want to either over here on the left or the icon itself, you want to right click, go down to manage and controller configuration. Now this will not appear if the controller is not plugged in. You have to have the controller plugged in in order for the controller figure configuration to come up. A bit of a tongue twister. But anyway, we cl click on that and it shows us our controller scheme here. Now default, uh, as we selected, it'll be like the pro controller layout for me. Or if you're using the dual sense, it'll be just a normal sort of Sony layout. Uh, but what I'll do here is for me personally is we can swap all the buttons around so if there's a certain type of way you play Steam will no most likely support it and the big reason I actually like using Steam at the minute is because I use the gyro aiming uh, and that is back here using this middle gyro sensor that we can select now default that will be turned off so you don't have to worry about if you don't like that you just that will be off anyway you don't have to do that. Uh, the other thing I like doing, we've got this standard button here on the Pro Controller to take a screenshot. I change that to push to talk, which will most likely be T on the keyboard or whatever button it is in that game specifically. I'll most of the time map that to push to talk so I can talk with my teammates and help them that way. Um, but as I said with the buttons here, what I'll normally do, so I miss this, is I'll usually swap the X and Y so it's a bit more like a Xbox layout, but I'll keep the A and B like a Pro Controller layout because that's what I prefer. So that's my little quirk. And as I said, we use the mouse-like joystick for the gyro aiming in pretty much every game that I play. Uh, now Steam on the storefront does a fantastic job of supporting uh, supporting and showing you. It's not in the, we're not in the main home screen here. There we go. Uh, we've got this basically the side browsing quick, I guess, categories. And we've got controller friendly. And Steam will just basically list uh, the popular games that are basically being played with controllers. Actually, so that's what we're already on. And you go over to top sellers. Now, most games will say when they support controllers. Uh, if it's games like Battlefield, for example, it would just be like playing on a, on a PlayStation or an Xbox. There's no problems there. And you can obviously tune it to what you want to do in the game. Uh, whereas some games like Hell Let Loose, I found it said partial controller support. Now, I got to thankfully try that game uh, for free on a Steam weekend, had it launched for free. You could download it for free and play for like 48 hours or so for that weekend. And I got to play it briefly and I found out that basically the controller configuration in that game or the controller support is terrible. And uh, for that reason, I didn't buy and I didn't like it. I have a brief video on that. Now, it's each to their own, but, you know, it just shows the difference where they obviously never intended that game to really be used with a controller, whereas something like Battlefield from the get-go is designed to be played on consoles, and we get that exact experience here on Steam, which I really like. So uh, I believe that covers all the bases I really want to go over, really. That should get you going. Uh, sometimes... What's something I had? I think maybe using the Pro Controller with Gears or Gears 5 here. I've actually changed my icons. If you don't recognize some of these, it's because I changed some of them. I don't like the default icons and I changed them to my own. So the Gears 5 default icon, I don't like it. So I just put the default Gears 1 icon on there. Now, sometimes these won't work. 
Uh, sometimes some games, I think like this Xbox game for example, might be a bit funny with the Pro Controller. And what you can do is you click on right click and click on Properties. And then it will show you down here, we've got even controller settings again. And this is a bit more in depth. And it says here, Nintendo Switch enabled general settings. And generally, some of these you might have to click uh, override for Gears 5, it says here. And we can basically use this disable Steam input, use default settings, enable Steam input. Basically, you can force Steam to use a certain, uh, a certain control, and even if it's usually not supported. So sometimes I've had to go in here. I can't remember what game that specifically was right now. Uh, but either way, problem solved. Instantly fixed it. No problem. Get, get going in the game. You launch the game, it just launches like a, like a console. So anyway, I hope that helps you. As I said, if it does, please leave a like. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.